My name's Joe Levi, and I drive a Prius. Yesterday was Earth Day, and I watched a video by a fine gentleman by the name of Wrangler Star. If you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you do that. I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, he made a comment about Earth Day, about people who drive Priuses versus people who drive pickup trucks and how the person who drives a Prius is more often than not a useful idiot to use his terminology. The reasoning behind his logic was simple, elegant. I uh, said, you take somebody who drives a truck, they bought a truck 30 years ago, brand new. And that person either themselves or passing it on to uh, a child or a sibling or even selling it to someone who's going to take care of it has kept that running with regular maintenance with repairing parts when they needed it and just taking care of it they've kept that running for 30 years yeah it might only get 14 miles per gallon but that's really not the true measure of its impact on the environment around us now a lot of you don't know i'm I'm Native American, I'm Paiute, and we have kind of a, a spiritual connection to the land. If we take care of the earth, the earth will in turn take care of us, and if we don't, then we don't have any promise there. Um, when we're taking a truck that was built all those many years ago, and we're taking care of it, and we're giving it what it needs, keeping it in good running order, um, replacing components when they need to be replaced not because we were abusive but because they just wore out and you make that last for 30 years you've got 200 300,000 miles on this vehicle that's fabulous but when you look at somebody who bought and drove a Prius when you look at that they want to buy a product to save the planet and that's wrong buying a product buying a service isn't going to save the planet. In fact, it's doing the opposite, regardless of what that product is, almost universally. It's the mindset. Rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, all that stuff. The rethink being the most important part, that's what's going to save the planet. And no, not from a save the planet perspective, because I can sell you a bumper sticker for that but I won't because that's not the solution. It's part of the problem. That's what we need to do. We need to start rethinking, and that's what Wrangler Star did. A Prius, on the other hand, on the freeway, I get 50 miles per gallon. Around town, I get 42, 43. That's fabulous. I'm saving the planet. I should be able to look down on all these truck drivers and say, what are you doing trying to kill the environment, right? Nope. Because what it took to build my car was significantly more impactful than what it took to build that truck. And that truck is going to last a lot longer than my Prius, especially when it comes down to the batteries. So why did I buy a Prius? Well, first of all, I didn't go into this purchase blindly, and I didn't go in there wanting to save the planet. I went into this purchase because in my industry, generally, um, software developers, especially web developers, we work at one place for three to five years, find another employer, jump ship. That's the only way we can get more money in the industry. <laughs> and worked for them for another three to five years. So after I'd worked at my current day job for a couple of years, we thought, hey, we're gonna have to move, which we didn't wanna do, or commute down downtown, which that's a good hour commute and it really takes a lot of gasoline to do. We were cheap and at, uh, with gas pressing $4 a gallon, we decided, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and get a fuel efficient car. And at the time, we thought the Prius was the best one for us. Now, when I say at the time, the end of this summer, I'll have had that car for 10 years. I've only got 70,000 miles on it. It's in wonderful running condition. With the new house up north, it's 70 miles away. And let me tell you, getting 50 miles to the gallon on that commute is going to come in very, very handy. So I'm glad that I'm doing it. Did I buy the Prius to save the planet? No. Did I buy the Prius knowing that I'm gonna to have to replace the batteries at some point in the future? Yes. And I know that has a huge impact on the environment, but hopefully, if Wrangler Star watches this, I don't think I'm a useful idiot and I hope that I'm not being a useful idiot. If anything, I just wanna be useful. And I think that's really what homesteading is about. That's what environmentalism should be about. 
Again, not about buying a product or a service, but about rethinking the way we live, the way we act, the way we purchase things, the way we use things. That's really what it comes down to. So before you go out and buy that new thing, before you go and buy that cup of coffee made with a you know, recycled coffee cup, rethink your impact. Rethink if what you're doing is going to be in line with what you want for the world. Not what the environmentalists tell you. Not what they're indoctrinating our kids at public school uh, you know, with Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day in your mind. Because it's not about commercializing something. It's about taking care of the land around you, taking care of the people around you. And I think that's the most important part. So, yes, I drive a Prius. I'm useful, but I'm not an idiot. And I do have one other reason that I love that little Prius. We'll go into that in a future video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. And uh, I want to know, am I a useful idiot? Head down to the comments and let me know. Thanks, guys.